Hi, everyone. My name is Omar Awan. I'm the Associate Vice Chair of Education at the University of Maryland, the Associate PD of the Radiology Resident. I want to talk today about a great topic that's been recommended by you guys, how to match into radiology as an IMG, as an international medical graduate from the PD perspective. And I hope this is insightful and illuminates ideas for all the IMGs out there to try and match into radiology. So this is a really important topic, and it's something that's really dear to me because Although I'm not an IMG, full disclosure, my father is. And my father immigrated here from Pakistan. He's a pulmonologist. And I wouldn't be here, and I would certainly wouldn't be sitting here talking to you about being a physician if it wasn't for my father. So I'm very uh, attuned to all the struggles that IMGs go through. And it's always been one of my missions to help all IMGs succeed in the field of medicine, no matter what they go into. So I want to share all the tips that I know to help you guys secure uh, residency in radiology. And radiology is competitive. It's obviously very difficult to get into. It's not the most competitive specialty, but it's a competitive specialty. But there's no reason you guys who are IMGs can't match into radiology. So it's possible and people have done it and you can do it. So there's no reason you guys can't do it. Um, I think that there has been a heightened awareness of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and more and more programs are being receptive to having IMGs in their programs. And I personally think that IMGs are phenomenal residents. They're super hardworking, and you know they really do a great job. So it's definitely possible. And I think more and more programs are being open to this possibility, which is a great sign for you guys. So I'm going to break this into basic advice and then more advanced insights that I think are relevant for you guys. So, you know, these are things that I expect everyone to know. So, you know, basically you have to have an excellent school record, you know, no matter where you went, you have to have done very well in medical school. And that goes without saying, you don't want to have, you know, IMGs often have to work much harder than a U.S. grad to get a residency program. So if you're average to subpar, it may not work out for you, but if you have an excellent school record, that's kind of one of the prerequisites. You have to have done solid on the U.S. MLE. There's no cutoffs or, I mean, some programs do have cutoffs, but most programs don't have a cutoff. They look at the whole gestalt big picture. The step one is now pass or fail. So, you know, as long as you pass. The step two is, you know, still numeric. And that's, you should see that as an opportunity to do well and shine and really uh, show that you've mastered, you know, medical knowledge and medical material. So, you know, really it should be seen as an opportunity for you to thrive and shine and show that you are capable of, succeeding in the United States by getting, you know, a 260 or whatever it is. And even if you have a score that's average, that's still, you can still match as an IMG if you do other things, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Now, your letters of records have to be stellar, and they have to show that you're different through your work ethic, your passion, your enthusiasm, your ability to learn radiology, something about you that really stands out. So your letters of recognition have to really be excellent for you to match. And of course, your CV has to be well-rounded. You know, you want to show that not only are you a smart, intelligent person, but you've done community service, you're a leader, you've been involved in different organizations and different outreach programs. Uh, these are all things that you have to be solid for you to match into radiology. And actually, this advice is actually relevant for all applicants, not just IMG. So that's why this is basic advice. This is something that is sort of a prerequisite to matching into radiology, regardless, actually, whether you're an IMG or whether you're, whether you're a U.S. graduate. So I hope this is somewhat helpful. But you know, this is really, I think, things that you all already know. But I do want to talk about five specific tips for IMGs that I think will be very helpful for you to match. This is the first event. I think this is by far the most important tip for you guys to understand. Find a sponsor, a champion, or a mentor that is going to go above and beyond for you. That's the key. You have to find someone who is really going to make a difference in your life and help you match into radiology. They have to be a U.S. radiology faculty member because those ones are going to have the most impact in securing a position for you in radiology within the United States. Ideally, this person is going to look after your interests, going to do everything they, that they can to help you secure a position in the match. And the goal really is to have your champion work so hard, go above and beyond for you so that you will eventually match into a radiology program. And the way that happens is through the quality of your work. So if you work with this mentor, you write papers with this mentor, manuscripts, you work on educational initiatives with this mentor, you've done a rotation with this mentor and you've done an outstanding job, the higher the quality of your work, the more likely it is that this sponsor is going to go above and beyond to write you an amazing letter of recommendation, reach out to other faculty members to get you interviews, and do anything in their power 
to make sure that you match into radiology. So really it's directly proportional to the quality of work that you do as a apprentice or as a mentee. And this relationship is extremely important to develop and harness as you develop as into your specialty, into radiology. The second tip specific for IMGs is increase your visibility in United States programs. So some people I understand don't have access to coming to the US because of visa issues, but if you can come to the US, you must come to the US and you must come and show yourself and do away rotations at United States institutions because then you no longer become an EROS or an AAMC ID number. You're an actual person. They know who you are. They've seen you. They can see your strengths, your weaknesses, the way you interact with residents, fellows, faculty. All this is very important in increasing your visibility to show them that, hey, you can succeed in radiology resident. You're different than the other IMGs or the other applicants that are applying to radiology. A common mistake that I think people make is that they try to go to the best possible number one radiology residency program in the country. But oftentimes those programs don't necessarily aren't IMG friendly or may not offer interviews to IMG. Sometimes they have these policies. So it's often better to go to a place that is IMG friendly or a place where you know that they will rank IMGs and a place where you have a chance matching at that program. Because if you go to a place where you have a chance and they see you and they, you make a great impression and you do an excellent job, that will allow you to potentially match into a radiology residency program. This interaction with faculty and residents is so key because then they see who you are, they see your strengths, and they see you as, wow, this person could be part of our residency family. This person is interacting so well with residents, they're well-liked, and these people can vouch for you. So other faculty who see you, other residents that see you, they all have a say in the match and they can vouch for you and say, wow, this person so-and-so did a phenomenal job here. Let's rank this person highly. So this is a very important, this visibility in US programs can serve IMGs very well in matching into radiology. Making an impression is very important. When you go, make that month count. You know, Show that you're interested, that you're engaged. You talk to residents, you're asking questions, show your enthusiasm, come on time. You know, you do these things, people are going to vouch for you and say that, oh, wow, this person is amazing. Let's really consider this person for radiology. Tip number three is participating in special projects with a high impact. So, you know, getting involved in research, you know, finding a mentor to do research in, publishing in a journal, a manuscript, doing educational initiatives, creating innovative teaching tools with radiology faculty. These are special projects that have a high impact because they're affecting the field. You're actively contributing to the field of radiology and that gets talked about in your letters. You've made an impact. You're like, wow, this person will actually do well for the field of radiology. And hence, it'll increase your chances of matching into diagnostic radiology or interventional radiology if you work on these special projects that have such a high impact. This really will allow you to secure an outstanding letter of recommendation. Now, a letter of recommendation is very key in securing a spot in radiology residency, which we're gonna talk about next because that's tip number four, getting an outstanding letter of recommendation from a US radiology faculty member, not just someone abroad, but someone that's working in the United States who can vouch and say, this is an amazing person. They will make an amazing and a hardworking radiology resident. Get it from someone, if possible, who's well-known in the field. Because if that person is well known, you're more the, P, the PDs who are reading it are more likely to be receptive to it. So if I'm reading a, you know, these letters and I know, oh wow, this is Doctor, you know, so and so. I know this person personally. That's going to carry more weight than reading a letter from someone that I don't know, right? So it's the, the more well known someone is, the higher the weight there is, and the higher the chances that that PD will offer this person an interview because they trust that person's opinion, right? So you know, getting a letter you know, getting a mentor who's very well known, doing great work with them, and then getting a letter that's outstanding will really go a long way in helping you secure a radiology residency spot. That letter writer can also facilitate interviews and reach out to programs on your behalf. So if you impress this person enough, they may say, hey, well, you know, it's, it's, it may be December, January, during the interview process, you haven't heard from programs, that person may reach out to other programs and contact the PDs and say, hey, listen, it's worth interviewing this person because I think they're going to do a great job. So that's very important. That can really help uh, on your behalf. This outstanding letter will show others that you're a competent resident from someone that's really respected in the field. So if someone who is very well respected says that, you know, 
you're going to do a great job and you're going to make a fantastic resident, that gets taken very seriously. And that really can help you get an interview and potentially move up on a program's rank order list as an IMG. And the final tip is networking, right? You want to network as much as possible with PDs, residents, and successful IMG radiology residents. That's the key right there. That last thing is very key. So you want to increase your visibility as a serious candidate. The more you talk to PDs, the more you talk to residents and those that have been in your shoes, it'll show that you're someone that really wants to do this. You're a serious candidate. Talking to IMGs who have gone through the process will give you insights that even I can't provide to you. You know, tips that they did that you can emulate to secure a spot in radiology residency, right? So they have gone through the grind. They know how it works. Do what they did, emulate what they did so that you can also be successful just like they are. And they are happy to, you know, pay it forward because they also got advice from many others before them as well, right? So, you know, talking to these people, getting to know them is going to be very key in your success as an IMG. You know, residents, again, I say this all the time in a lot of my, my videos, they have a say in the process, in the match, in you know, the ranking of candidates. They see you, they can vouch for you. So the more you network with people, the more they'll have to say about you. You, know, you become an actual entity to people and they'll start talking about you. And I think attending national meetings is very key. So you know, going to places like RSNA, these, which is the biggest, not only radiology, but medical conference in the world, they have programs where you can meet PDs, radiology residents, get advice. You know, all these things will help your network and broaden your network to increase your chances to matching into a radiology residency. So my final thought is, thoughts are, I think you can do this. You can absolutely do this. Believe in yourself. There should be nothing holding you back to getting and fulfilling your dreams as a radiology resident. Uh, if you follow these tips, I'm sure these will help you, you know, kind of secure radiology in the future. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I'm here for you guys. I want you guys to succeed. I love all IMGs and many thanks for this and uh, hope to hear from you guys soon. Thank you so much for your attention.